technology developed here in Dayton could make you safer on planes and football fields and better protect your identity. New at 5.30, Pam Elliott on your side with a look at the smart sensor and the man behind it. We're just still trying to find that one um, hook, so to speak, that will get us into a market and get it going and then we'll be able to branch out a lot easier. Bob Kaufman is a distinguished research chemist with the University of Dayton Research Institute. He's invented what's called the Smart Sensor. Smart stands for Status and Motion Activated Radio Frequency Tag. He got the idea while investigating the 1996 crash of TWA Flight 800 outside New York City. He believes a frayed fuel sensor wire contributed to the explosion that brought down the plane. The smart sensor is a step up from a radio frequency identification tag. Say we want to put these uh, sensors into an aircraft and you have 100,000 of them in an aircraft because there's many miles of wiring in an aircraft. Um, if someone went to try and read those, he'd be inundated by all the signal coming in. So what we wanted to do is make it so that only the samples or only the sensors that were having problems uh, would send a signal out, and then that way they could identify right where to go to the problem. Bottom line, the smart sensor only reads the problem. They get a signal, it will come up on the screen and tell them, I'm uh, clamp 2510, I'm located in the left wing, I'm, I'm open, and wires are loose. But there are other applications as well. Kaufman says a smart sensor could be used in a football helmet to measure the impact of a hit that could leave a player with a concussion, an injury that might not otherwise be detected. Kaufman says the smart sensor might also be valuable in keeping vaccines safe for use. The bypass be affected by temperature, so that way when someone gets a shipment of vaccine, there'll be a... Um, recording of the fact that this at one point warmed up and the vaccine may no be longer be any good. And to protect your identity, Kaufman suggests using smart technology in e-passports. Right now, they can be read even when closed and in your pocket. But add the smart sensor, and now they can only be scanned when opened. Kaufman says the technology is inexpensive. All of the components in one sensor amount to less than a dollar. He now needs a manufacturer to step up and someone to market his creation. Pam Elliott, 2 News on your side.